Yeah, it's good to have you company. 131873 is the open line number, 2GB.com. We'll click on the feedback icon if you'd like to join us. In the meantime, John's online. G'day, John. Morning, Ray. How are you? Good, thank you, mate. Just hang on a minute. I'll get you off speaking because the lady asked me to do that. You're right, but pal. I, I wanted to have a chat with you about Westmead Hospital and an experience my sister had there. It's a good news story, and um, these people don't get the accolades they deserve, in my view. She, she's um, uh, 75, mentally, physically disabled, fell over, put her head open, taken to uh, the hospital by ambulance, and then I was called, went over to see her, obviously. Mm. And these people are absolutely fantastic. The people at the reception, the people in the triage, the nurses, the doctors... Unbelievable treatment in a in an atmosphere that is really quite not chaotic, but getting pretty close. You know, people wandering in and announcing the arrival of helicopters. Some bloke wandering around wanting to go home, and mm. uh, some woman screaming out in the bed. But these people are so cool, calm, collected. They're not sympathetic, but they have great empathy with their with their patients. And um, yeah, I've been the the same uh, hospital and the same ED, and uh, I'm quite amazed at their poise actually. <laughs> Uh, uh, under fire, so to speak. Yeah. I mean, there are people yelling and screaming and carrying on, not those that are injured, more so relatives and the like, and they seem to deal with it without missing a beat. Well, they don't get the accolades they deserve. You know, the government's always under pressure in terms of hospitals and, and, um, and non-availability of service and what have you. But these people, you know, they, I was so impressed. And I actually said to the triage nurse at the end, and they effectively ignore you until they're finished doing what they're doing. They focus mm. on what they're doing. Mm. And she turned around and she said, what can I help you with, darling? And I told her, and she <laughs> said, oh, it's okay. You know, she's in bed, so-and-so, go and see her. And she's all right. We're looking after her. She'll be the doctor in a minute. And, and then the doctor... I saw the nurse, and the doctor didn't come in time for me to be there. They said, well, go home, she's okay, we'll look after her, we'll link her, yeah. and she's ready. And the doctor, she said, the doctor may ring me. So this young woman rang me, this doctor rang me, and she was a young woman, and rang me and said, I want you to tell me all about, about this lady, what, what, what's the circumstance, what's the background, yeah. how did this happen, you know, she's suffering any ill effects, da 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 And I was just so impressed, and, and it's worthwhile saying to people, hey, this is a great facility we've got here. We are so lucky. Yeah, well said, John. I appreciate your call. I'm sure the people of Westmead do as well. Thanks very much for making it. You're welcome. Thanks for your time. Thanks, mate. All the best to you. Nice to hear from you. One